I think bullying makes people feel hopeless. It makes them feel like there there's nowhere to turn. I think that's one of the biggest effects of it. If if you felt there was a way out, you wouldn't feel bullied. I think as a parent, if you're worried that your child is being cyberbullied, the first and foremost is, is talk to them. And that sounds easier said than done, because I think for a lot of kids, there there's a fear of, of what talking means. Maybe my device will be taken away. This is important to me. So reassure them that you know you're on their side, and explain that you you need to, to kind of at least understand what's happening so you can help. Um, I would advise them not to not to interact. Um, you know, that saying, "Don't look at the monkey, or the monkey will dance." I think you know is very apt for people that are trying to bully you online. They're trying to get a rise out of you. And if you can ignore it, all the better. Get them to understand that this isn't gonna last forever. This is key. <laughs> this will pass. Now, like anything in life, things pass when we do something about them. This may sound surprising, but I think a lot of kids may not even understand the consequences of them laughing at a photograph or saying something. They may not understand that, you know, when they're, you know, doing a group chat and, you know, this isn't someone that they're that close to, so they'll leave them out, that it can be really painful. So kind of having those conversations, allowing them to empathize with other kids. I think for any parent whose child is being bullied or is in any way involved in bullying, it's a really scary time. So the more information and the more good information you can get the better.